Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Enel Simmer, aka Bram, and as you say in Dutch, Goede dag, hello, welcome. Um, I f no. First of all, I would like to apologize for not posting for a while. Um, I had some troubles. There was some things going on in my family as well. Um, and I tried to record some videos, but for some reason it wouldn't work. And I fixed all the issues, but my last issue was I hadn't had, I didn't have any storage left. Sorry. Uh, so I had to move a lot of files and stuff. Um, but that's mainly because I'm a design student, so I have like all the Adobe file of programs on my computer. And it's just a laptop, so I had to move from the C drive to the D drive. So, but it worked, and I can record again, and yeah, perfect. Um, so in this video, I, as you could probably tell from the title, I build a ASIM starter home. I gave myself 20,000 simoleons or something. Uh, or 21, I don't remember. Um, and I had a plan. At fir first, you could see I took out all the items that I needed. So, like two double beds, some uh, three single beds, and a toddler bed. Bed. And I took out some kitchen counters, some appliances, and some plumbing. Uh, so, I had like all the ascensions already paid for, and I could build with the amount of money that I had left which in my opinion was smart and I put them in my house inventory so I have more space in the back as well as to keep it clean I like to tidy up things uh -huh. uh, yeah so the house it's uh, kind of big kind of <laughs> it's very square I tried to make it less square by making it bump out in the back and in the front and put in a chimney but in the end I didn't like the bump out at the front but I had already made so much use out of it in the upstairs that I couldn't get rid of it anymore. Um, so, yeah, this is the point where I realized, like, oh, I don't really like it. <laughs> but I couldn't make a flat entrance, and I, if I made it bigger, um, it would look more empty as well as... Uh, yeah, and I couldn't make it smaller either because I needed the space that you need to lift, like, eight sims. Um, but it ended up costing like 20,900 and something simoleons. And I believe with an 8 sim starter, let me look it up, you get like 24,000 or simoleons or something. Oh, wrong screen. How much money does an 8 sim family start? Wait, why can't I find it? Will we eight some start at home? Wait. <laughs> I thought it would be like at the front or something, but I can't really find it. Let's see. No, no. Sims form. So the max amount of money is nine million nine hundred thousand nine nine no sorry. Nine million nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine simoleons. Damn. Let's see. Okay. Um. Oh, the start amount of money depends on how much how old everyone is. So if you have like two elder people, or well, first adult or an elder, the first sim gets like twenty thousand to start off with. Each additional adult or elder is five thousand on top. So you start with one adult. Um, say he or she is married, so that's 25,000? No, this can't be right. Let's listen to you. Let's listen to you. Never mind. <laughs> uh, oh, I really should have looked this up before. I know I can't find it. Same starting fund. For one sim, it's 16,000 plus 2,000 for additional adult. You know what? Never mind. I think you get like 23,000 or 24,000, so you have at least some money left to put in like details that you'd like. Um, let's go back to the build. So as you can see, I put in very, very big windows, um, which may look odd, but those were cheap and they look... 
well fancier. So that would, in my opinion, really elevate the home. Um, here I put in some filler furniture that in the end I also keep because I realized those are also one of the cheapest and I couldn't get rid of it because I needed those to make it look more lived in or not, not more lived in to fill up the space more. Um, I used a lot of debug and I made sure to use as many packs as I could because that made, that made it easier to furnish with less money. Um, so you're also probably wondering why I picked that big dining table from university. Um, well, it could see eight sims and it was like 50 or 100 simonias or something. It's like the cheapest, biggest table. Sorry, Siri. Shushed. For some reason, my phone keeps going off, even though I don't pronounce its name. S-I-R-E. I can spell it. <laughs> but it's annoying, so sorry for that. About that. Um... Well, the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room, I really am not that proud of. <laughs> well, the living room isn't that bad, but the dining and kitchen, like the kitchen in my opinion, I made it a little too big, but I had the space that needed to fill. I couldn't afford any more counters. And the dining room, I didn't really have any money left to put in like artwork, because you can see I have 2,000 simoleons left and I still needed to do like the upstairs and the outside. But little secret, I didn't have any money left for the outside, so I used debug. Oops. First time using debug landscaping though, and man was it a pain in the ass to find them. So, but I ended up putting up like um, those food pictures that come with city living, I think. Um, but I forgot to add a frame on it, so when you're down at the home, you could add a frame on it to much like the. I forgot all my English words right now. Archway? Yeah. Because I used the jungle one to give it more of an architectural architectural um, bonus, I suppose. To make it less straight and to give just a little bit more to the wall and to the space to make it just a bit more interesting. Uh, so this is going to be the parents' bedroom. Uh, so most of the beds are the same, but I wanted to make the parents' bedroom like a little bit luxurious, kind of. Which... I totally feel that, like this home isn't really luxurious at all. But this room has a mirror, it has, has a plant, it has some night lights, it has a chair, and some artwork in the end, uh, and a rug. Uh, so it isn't all that bad. For like a starter home, and I think for especially for an eight sim starter home, the bedroom is kind of nicely furnished. Um, I was really considering that because it was cheaper, but I ended up going with that for that and the icicle to match like the blue tones in the room uh, to give it like a theme a bit which usually interior design isn't based on themes it's based on hints of something to give you a, a vibe but not to make it fully like blue <laughs> but right now this is the cheapest way <clears throat> so this is the mint room and so I imagined this home being first of all you have the parents the two parents uh you have the two the, you have probably have like twins it's shared a room and you have a toddler and another child that are quite similar in age but they are besties so they share a room and this room is probably for the teenage daughter and uh i said it's an eight since so starter home so those are just seven people so in my mind the sim her boyfriend or girlfriend i don't judge uh, moved in because of some problems at home or something so they share a room here so then you have eight sims <laughs> boom I did it <laughs> um, and those rugs from nifty knitting are so nifty uh, for the <laughs> um, limited build challenges you know in terms of money uh, because those are zero simoleons which is perfect um, but yeah, this room is also a bit more blue, like icy colors. Like those beds remind me of Elsa for some reason. I don't know if you have the same thing, but it reminds me of Elsa. For the kids, there's like a skill building thing as you can see there. I Did I put in a toy chest? No, I didn't. Every bedroom does have a wardrobe, which is kind of excessive, but it just gives it a bit more furniture and more character, in my opinion. Um... Oh, I put another bookshelf there. 
I realized at the end of like recording the tour that I put into bookshelves in the living room too. That's so stupid. I could have spent that money on something else. Dang it. <laughs> it does have toilet paper though. It might be 50 simoleons, but it does have toilet paper. <laughs> also probably a waste of money. <laughs> See, I put another bookshelf there. Dang it. Well, at least it's somewhat decorated. I made it. I tried to make it look lived. I don't know. I'm trying to sell it, but yeah, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't personally play in this home, and um, yeah, it really isn't not. It's, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have words for it, but it really isn't one of my best builds. I um, kind of ashamed of it. I thought have it. I thought I had improved, but. This is a setback. But also, in my defense, I've never built a home for eight sims before. Um, so, I guess this is level one for me. And from here on out, it can only go up. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Uh, here I'm just looking like for the debug landscaping. But I didn't know to cheat. Um, so, I had to look up the cheat. And it took me a while to realize that. I hadn't put in the cheat for landscaping because I never use it. Uh, when will it like, oh, here. Here I got the idea that I was being stupid and that I needed the cheat, so I'm looking it up online right now and I found it. And did I fill it up? I did. So, oh, sorry. Um, now I'm trying to landscape it. You know, one of my biggest flaws as well is I'm very bad at landscaping. I really don't know what to do. Um, which is kind of annoying because I was asked to like design someone's backyard. Um, I gave them designs for their living room and such. But now they've asked me to design their backyard and I have no clue what to do. Like I have some ideas, but I don't know how to realize it, I suppose. And if it would look good, you know, so. I have to get on to that too. Let me write this note. I need to do some several things actually. Me organizing my life in the middle of the video. Sorry, backyard. I have to make a flyer for an event. And I need to study. Probably record another video. And I have to work. Study for driver's ad. So I have a lot to do. Enough on my plate. Um, <laughs> I'm. Yeah. Sorry. And if you can hear background noises, I'm sorry for that too. I hope you can't. Uh, so here we're doing the backyard, doing it the cheap way, and giving it tiles by using terrain paint. And looking for some more landscaping items. I don't think I'd put anything else in the front job because I really hadn't any idea anymore. Here I thought like, oh, put in a nice fence. It makes it look more expensive. At first I found this and I was like, eh, it kind of has something. And then I put it all together and I was like, eh. Yeah. And this reminded me of Spa Day. I'm not Spa Day. Perfect Patio. And I was like, oh, I can make like a fence out of that and I was like no yeah no that's not staying either <laughs> let's see do when do I find it no 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 <laughs> am I happy to got rid of that uh, at first it does look seem like I want to keep it and then I found that one and I was like that just makes it a bit more like a nicer home even though I can't really fix this home someone please if you uh, down this home and want to like make it nicer within the budget go ahead tag me or use my hashtag I don't even have a hashtag how would you tag me comment in the video down below with a name or your username of the gallery so I can look it up and see if you've done it better than I have, which you probably have. 
Oh, why am I attempting this YouTube thing? I'm... Mm, mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's the tour. And this is the finished result. Looking back at it now, I don't really like the front bit. Uh, I think it's the door. It's too... It's like the perfect size of the bump out, and I think it makes it look just a little odd. But for the rest, I kind of like it. For a start at home, it, it really looks luxurious, in my opinion. From the, uh, not luxurious, it looks big, in my opinion. Like, most starter homes are small. And uh, I believe it costs like 20,000 simoleons, which, as an 8 sim starter family, you got way more money. But okay. Uh, it's nice and cozy. Would you be able to sit easily with 8 people here? Probably not. But when, well, I don't really know. <laughs> you, yeah, I suppose you could easily sit here with um, four sims, so you could all watch something on the television or uh, put on a fireplace. Actually, five, because I've chair that. You could read, and the others could make like their homework here, or someone could cook. The kitchen is quite um, bare. Like, there's nothing really in it. Like, the essentials are there. It looks it looks modern. It's not too bad. You have a bin. Just an indoor bin. I don't have an outdoor bin. You can eat with eight people at once. Um, some food art. <laughs> I don't know. It really... As I said, I haven't done this before. Like, a budgeted set challenge. It's very, well, I kind of have. But not really for eight sims. So, I think I did a kind of good job like the bathroom is very very basic <laughs> but we put in decorations I tried to make it feel as much as like a home as possible but I think it kind of feels the hallway is um, empty and narrow but you could work yeah the two favorite sisters or well actually they like each other very much so they share a room yeah no curtains of course because I could this isn't too bad. Yeah. You know, I don't really have much to say about this. Like, this bedroom is nice, actually. This is really well, really well furnished. For a starter home, it's nicely furnished. Those rugs are just a lifesaver because those are free. This isn't too bad either. It's just, yeah, the other rooms kind of are. <laughs> I did my best. Uh, for, for for a starter home for eight sims, it really isn't the worst. You have a nice garden, backyard kind of, with no seating at all. But like, you have some simoleons over, and the back is completely empty. I um, not my proudest moment. I should have put something there or something, or or something something, so many somethings. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't hate it that much, except for this thing. What was I thinking? Okay. It could have it could have been worse. <laughs> Let's just say that. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe. And if you have any other build suggestions or something you want me to build for you, let me know in the comment section down below. And you can download this, I don't know if you want to, from the gallery under the name Anosima13. And I hope to see you all into the next video. Bye!